Afternoon folks, I wanted to talk to you today about a common problem that a lot of people have in the mint lighter gardens with their weekly feed and that is that weekly feed uh, with the magnesium sulfate in it will draw moisture into your weekly feed and it can get damp or just downright soupy. I've got seedlings in my basement and I need to start throwing the constant feed to them and I need more weekly feed. I used it all up last year and I've got nothing on hand. Because my growing season is at least eight weeks away yet, I don't have or don't want to have a mess of wet fertilizer when I do start gardening to work with. So what I'm doing is I'm going to mix up my triple 13, my micronutrients, but I'm not going to add the Epsom salt yet. When I get ready to use some, I can pull out weekly feed, mix in the magnesium sulfate, and then I've got the weekly feed that I need to use in the garden or uh, in this case in my basement for my seedlings. When I break it down, I've done the math here, and I'm not going to get too far into the math, but to three pounds and three ounces of the weekly feed minus no, I'm not even going to call it weekly feed. It's not weekly feed until I get the Epsom salt into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three pounds and three ounces of my triple 13 fertilizer, which has been mixed with the micronutrients. I'm going to put that in my bucket. I'm going to add half a pound of Epsom salt into this bucket, and I'll mix it all up thoroughly. And then once the Epsom salt is added it'll actually be weekly feed and I can use it for whatever I need it. Uh, the fertilizer and the micronutrients that are stored in the bucket they're not yet truly weekly feed because they don't have the Epsom salt is not going to draw the moisture out of the air and it's not going to be a soupy mess. If you don't have a big garden if you're not using a lot of weekly feed if you don't want to mess with adding perlite and trying to keep these buckets sealed up and somewhere with low humidity. Uh, this is an alternative way of doing that. You can mix up as much as you need uh, on a weekly basis and you won't have to contend with the wet weekly feed. Anyway, just food for thought and another idea to try and make your weekly feed less of a hassle to work with trying to get wet, damp weekly feed out of your can to put into your garden can be a pain. Uh, a dry weekly feed is a lot easier to work with and this is how you can do it. But for every 6.4 pounds of the triple 13 mixed with the micronutrients you would need one pound of Epsom salt. Alright, I'm going to shut this down for the day, get this mixed up and uh, get my seedlings in the basement something to eat. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know. Look for my videos in the future. In the next couple of weeks, we should be starting our new greenhouse project. I'm pretty excited to get that started and to share it with you. Just a quick add on here. I wanted to show you how much three pounds of the triple 13 mixed with the micronutrients is. This is in a two gallon bucket paint bucket there's about yep there's about three inches of the uh, triple 13 mixed with the micronutrients in here and this old Tupperware dish is eight ounces of the magnesium sulfate and I'll just put this in here I'll mix it all up thoroughly and I'll take this down into the basement so that I can pull an ounce of it out at a time to mix up for my constant feed. 